How's that? battling a bit of shadow today. Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, really well, I hope. So, um, a lot of you have been desperate to see swatches of the new Lux Matte Lip Colours. They are stunning. Not only is the packaging kind of a matte, um, brushed gold, which is so beautiful, um, but the colours and textures are insane. Um, so the Lux lip colours are one of our most popular formulas in the range. So this is kind of a new take on that Lux formula. And kind of what makes it different is that they've got oil infused pigments that mean that they're matte, but they are smooth and creamy. And then a mixture of pure matte pigments to maintain that matted, long-lasting, vibrant colour um, for up to 12 hours. Ooh! So there are 18 shades in total from the nudest of nudes to the deepest of dark plums with red and orange and pink and purple and everything in between. So um, without further ado, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to show you all 18 colours. Wish me lips luck. Um, and yeah, you can choose your favourite. So first up is the aptly named Semi Naked. Gorgeous, super Kim Kardashian nude. Next we have Nude Reality, slightly peachier, pinkier than the Semi Naked. And this is mauve over a beautiful, slightly more bluey pink. And I love this. This is called True Pink. and Boss Pink. How awesome are the names, I love it. And from the old Creamy Matte collection, if you remember, gorgeous tawny pink, so a slightly deeper purplier pink. Yes. I remember why I love that colour. Now I'm going to take you into the peachy family and this is Bitten Peach. This so reminds me of Jennifer Aniston in Friends. She always used to wear a really, at one point she wore gorgeous peaches all the time. Bitten Peach. This one is fun. I have this on my Instagram. This is Cheeky Peach. <laughs> I love the name. It's that little bit more vibrant. This one I haven't tried yet and I can't wait. I saved it for camera so I could have a real reaction. This is Bold Nectar. Look at that. Woo! Oh yeah, so my kind of colour. Look at that. <laughs> I'm having to be quick because I don't want them to stain my lips too much. Now we're going to take it back a little bit more to the pinky family. This is a colour called Rebel Rose. Look at that. A really fab, bold pink. Again, I've not tried this one yet. I wanted to save it for you guys. Ooh. I love it. It's pinker than I thought it was going to be. Rebel Rose. You know it's good when there's a hair jeez, chaps got my foundation stick in case I need to touch up around my lips. 
Oh, lovely. And this is raspberry. Again, we had a colour called raspberry before in the creamy matte lip colours. So this is a slightly, yeah, plummy raspberry tone. It surprises me how each time it feels quite so soft as you apply these. You know, some matte lipsticks drag from the very first minute you try and apply them. It just glides on the lips really smoothly. Ooh, I like you raspberry. Now, when I first received my package of lip colours, this was the one that really struck me. Vibrant Violet. And again, I've kept it completely clean because I wanted to show you my reaction on camera. So when I do it to you, I'm not looking at my monitor so I can't see. So let me do a bit. Is it good? Oh, such a fun colour. Oh, yes. Mmm. Imagine this on a night out, maybe hair up, little black jumpsuit or something, slick of black eyeliner, and this lip colour. Obsessed. Now I want to take you a little bit into the red family, she says getting all excited. There are quite a few to choose from and I'm going to start with Crown Jewel. Oh, look at that, am I? No. Ha! <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with red carpet. Look at this. <gasps> For any of you red lipstick lovers out there, you'll have known a Bobbi Brown red carpet before. This is just as delicious. Oh, so creamy. Mm, love it. It's a bit like a uh, burnt red, I suppose, in the normal lip colour range. Oh yeah, actually it goes really nicely with the makeup I'm wearing today, which is just um, taupe longwear cream shadow stick with uh, medium bronzer through the crease with some black liner and mascara. Guys, this is red carpet. Some of you might notice that I'm not using lip pencils. Mm. That's because Firstly, my lips have quite a defined natural lip edge anyway, but also these pigments are so rich that you don't necessarily need one. What I might do with some colours is use a lip brush. I haven't needed to yet, but use a lip brush just to make sure my lip, my ledge, my lip edge is even more perfect. Um, but if you are worried about the definition around your lip line, then by all means pair these with a lip pencil. This is woo, on fire. Quite literally. Oh, again, so soft. This is a little bit more pinky. It's funny, I often like to overline my lips slightly, but um, I haven't, because I'm so aware I'm trying on so many different colours. My, um, Lip edge would probably be up by my nose. <laughs> Funny. But if you do want to make your um, lipstick make even more of an impact, you can overline slightly. Oh, I love that. Hair zhuzh on fire. It's a good job I'm doing these in colour order. Look at my lips. Okay. <laughs> Burnt cherry. I've worn this already. I love it because it's that lovely, deep, velvety red. Amazing. Can you imagine for Christmas parties? Yes, burnt cherry. Reds are so good at making your teeth look white. Next, we have, okay, so now we're getting, now we're getting plummy again. This is Crown Jewel. Oh, really super smooth. Oh nice, this should have come after raspberry ham. Oh, I like it. Again, I always find that like plummies to me are slightly more um, autumnal, but imagine again if you had like a wedding in say early September and you had um, like a pale dress, like pale pink with like darker flowers on, this could be a really great partner. And then last, but by mo 
and last, but by no means least, why can't I speak? Last, but by no means least. Last, but by no means least. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Plum Noir, which um, I've worn already on my Instagram, and I quite like the whole, um, what was it people were saying? Someone was like, hashtag goth mum or goth han. I thought that's quite fun. But yes, a really deep, dark plum. I think of um, Zara Finley, at BB Pro underscore Zara Finley, when I think of this colour. So, oh, look at that. Dark and mysterious. Isn't it amazing how a lip colour can change an entire makeup? So there's nothing different in all of these swatches other than my lip colour. Blows my tiny mind. Amazing. Plum Noir. What colour should I finish the video in? Which one? Because this is my last one, I've taken it right to the fullest extent to my lips. This is the Bold Nectar. So I've got a swatch for you. We've got Semi Naked, Nude Reality, Mauve Over, True Pink, Boss Pink, Tawny Pink, Bitten Peach, Cheeky Peach, Bold Nectar, Rebel Rose, Raspberry, Vibrant Violent, Fever Pitch, Red Carpet, On Fire, Burnt Cherry, Crown Jewel and Plum Noir. Ooh, look at those. So if you're a sucker for a lip colour like me, then um, head to your nearest Bobbi Brown to try these out. Uh, do log on to the website, I'll put the link below where you can take a look at all the colours. I hope this swatch video has helped you decipher which ones you love. And um, my theory is, and always has been with lipstick, it does almost doesn't matter what colour it is, if you wear it with a smile and with confidence, it will look great. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been really fun to film um, and I hope I'll see you all soon. Leave me any comments or questions you have in the section below. All right, guys, loads of love. Bye.